Hi there. OK, so now we're on to the logs. Now, what I want you to do is do this for yourself. I'm going to give you a little challenge. What I want you to do is turn these into a high detail mesh. Uh, put more polygons in them. Separate some of them too so you can have individual logs. And now pause the video and go and do it. It shouldn't take you too long. Probably about half an hour or so. Um, and then come back. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the textured versions of mine. And um, I'll show you them inside Unity finished. So you can see what I did. Um, so I'll see you in a moment. So pause the video, do that now and come right back. OK, so here are my high detail logs. Uh, all I did was create one log like that, a quarter and a half different logs. And from that, I made this pile. I took that log and I scaled it and shrunk it and pushed it in and changed the shape of it a bit here and there and um, didn't take me very long at all. And then I just copied these half bits and quarter bits and put them on top to create a little pile. And I've created that as a separate object. This has already got UVs on it, so I don't need to worry about that. And from a texture point of view, all I had to do was texture these three objects. I didn't need to do any more because all of these logs share the same UV layout. So I managed to create a big pile of logs just from one log and one set of UVs and one texture, basically. So that was really good. Um, so that was really resourceful. And um, yeah, and this is what it looks like in Unity now. Here it is. It's my log pile. And there's my pieces. I, I exported a single log on its own, a half log, and a quarter log. And I can now sort of scatter these around my scene, around my around my barrels, and they look quite convincing. Really nice texture, which you'll see later how I created this. Um, yeah, very good, very convincing. So I hope you did that. I'm not going to, you know, I can't do all the objects for you, but I can show you how I did them and show you the results. And you'll get them in the pack at the end anyway. But, um, you know, you should really, really have a go at this and um, try try to create the same, the same effect. I'd be interested to see what you created. So please share. That's it for that challenge. So I really hope you pulled that off and uh, I'll see you in the next lecture.